I'm gonna put some. I'm, well, I'm, I'm gonna fill the car up with uh, petrol. I've got unleaded, and uh, I get asked every now and then about how to fill up. It's a, it's an easy one if you've done it before. If you haven't, it can be quite daunting. So uh, I'll talk you through it while I'm doing it. Now, what, what about the pumps? Obviously, you can't record it then because uh, you're not supposed to have your phones on. But I can record driving in and driving out. So, um, first thing you need to know is know what kind of fuel you use for your car, whether it be diesel, petrol, which is unleaded, um, or I suppose you, you might have the, um, the other type, which might be the gas one, I think it is. But most of them are unleaded or diesel. And you can tell by the colour on, the, on the, the handles of the pumps, blacks, diesel, greens unleaded. It says it on, on your car usually, where the um, where you fill up, so the, the little um, the opening for when you put in the, the diesel in or the petrol, it'll say it there, and it'll have the usually the colour code on the the cap. Now, when you're driving into the the petrol station, you've got to be careful because up to that point, you've been it's been under control. You, you, you've been pulling over curbs that are probably about four or five inches high. And all of a sudden you're going to drive into a petrol station and right next to the pumps the curb is probably about a foot and a half high maybe maybe even higher or it could be a barrier near it so you need to give yourself space don't go right close now mine's on the left hand side mine so i'll be pull up on the left hand side so you need to know which side yours is on because some cars are on the left some cars are on the right so before you even go in, know which side you're going to fill up on, otherwise you're going to embarrass yourself and try not to get it in the right place. If, you, if it is on the right, give yourself that space for when you pull up, because you need to open the door. And if it is on the left, give yourself space again from, from the side, because you need to be able to um, get out without clipping your car on the curbs. Because they're, they're quite tight, the pumps. And the other thing you need to be aware of is the... Um, there's going to be lots of cars close by who are going past you, people walking around, so it's quite hazardous. And you do see people on the mobile phones chatting away while they're filling up. That's a no no. You know, if, if the pumps, the special tenant sees you doing it, they're going to tell you to turn the phones off. So that's why I'll be turning mine off when I, when I go in. There's a, there's a risk of um, the, the fumes igniting the petrol. Off the off the mobile phone signal. So there's a petrol station coming up in a second. It's a BP one. That's the most popular one in the UK, as far as we can gather. And they're usually well spaced out. So we're going to do a left into here. So when you're coming in, the short slip, the short slip roads here. So you got to bring that speed down fairly quick because it could be quite tight and straight away we've got a bit of a queue so I'm gonna sit behind this red one because there's nowhere else to go so I'm gonna bring myself in and straighten myself up so you can see there's a bit of space here from the petrol pumps the red one's giving a bit of space there um, and also there's a bit of work going on at the same time now the one in front of its pull is actually ready to go so I might actually reverse back and go around them I'm just waiting patiently see what's going on oh the woman in the red's coming here as well so we'll wait for it there's no point in going around if they're both moving off so there's no point in giving yourself extra work to do and when you do pull off obviously don't be in a rush just be, be careful Another little tip for you is when you go into a petrol station, make sure you've got your either credit card or debit card with you. Uh, make sure you've got money. And if you're paying by money, always have some loose change in your in your car because it's very hard to get it spot on. Say you want to put in £10 or £20. So anyway, mine's at the back, so I'm letting it go past the pumps. So the back of the pumps are level with the back of the car. And that way it's easy to get it in. Anyway, we'll carry on.
so we've, we've filled up now and we're going to get moving on so uh, oh just another little tip for you if you do put the wrong fuel in like you put petrol in unlead uh, petrol in diesel and vice versa don't drive off straight away because it's going to knacker your engine so best thing you can do is is kind of just explain to the um petrol attendant you put the wrong fuel in um and uh, ring up the breakdown service and they'll come and siphon it out if you start the engine it's going to pump it into the engine and it's going to cost a lot more to fix it so it's not a it's not a big video it's a quite short one i hope it makes it a bit easier to explain about petrol pumps if you've never done one like i say uh, and you get the opportunity with your instructor take it up because uh, you'll be surprised how crowded they are and if you if you if you've never done one and you're about to fill up and you're thinking god how do i do this then i hope this video helps you if it does give it the thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe safe driving and i'll see you on the next video